Imagine heading for work, ready to clock in, and you find the place locked. We worked hard for you. We clocked in, did what we had to do. In this tough economy, it's the last thing you need. This is how we get repaid. It just kind of, uh, you know, hurts. So what do these suddenly unemployed workers do now? Good evening, everyone. I'm Liz Kidantas. I'm Kurt Fonger. New tonight at 11. Now you have a job, now you don't. When a restaurant closes, ex-employees are burning mad. Burning their uniforms mad. CBS 12's Juan Carlos Von Hole is here now with this story, all new at 11 tonight. Liz and Kurt, uh, the thing that really stinks here is that employees are out of two to three weeks' pay right now, and no one can track down the owner of the place. The doors were locked, even though these dozen or so workers were supposed to start their shifts and, most importantly, collect their paychecks at Jackson Hearts Bar and Grill in West Palm Beach. But then this, a note on the door that read like a slap in the face. It said the restaurant was closed because of tough times, but it made no mention as to when people will get paid. It hurts. I mean, even if my check was $30... You know, it could have given me gas money. I live on North Lake Boulevard. I drove all the way here. So it's been an inconvenience um, and just downright uh, just disgusting, I think. One of the employees says he got a text from the owner saying, I am sorry, I can't give what I don't have. Enough to make one guy burn his restaurant ball cap. The eatery located at Community and Military just opened three months ago, but never got much business. But workers from servers to dishwashers say they never had any indication this was coming. The owner even held an employee appreciation night last night. I don't have proper words to explain how angry I am. Adding to the pain, workers say they stayed with the owner through tough times, even avoiding looking for new jobs, hoping things would turn around. This is the day payday. I need my check. You know, I got bills to pay. We got the note on the front door right now saying that ain't nobody got no job. We don't know what to do. The man ain't answering the phone. And we tried reaching the owner of the restaurant through numerous phone calls and email, and we haven't heard back. At this point, workers' lives and paychecks are in limbo. Kurt. 